Hey guys, welcome back to Arsenic and Espresso. I'm Josh. Alice is not here today, but like we said at the beginning of the year, um, we're going to try to get you guys a little bit more content. One thing that I really wanted to do was start talking about some of the music that I've been listening to over the last month. So I want to know your guys' uh, thoughts and opinions on some of the stuff that I've been listening to. Uh, did you like it as well? Um, Leave comments down below as well of things that I definitely should have heard over the last month, but maybe haven't. And I'll try to get to all of your comments and respond to them as well. Uh, so first off, though, there were three albums that were kind of on a heavy rotate for me. Um, and they all released on the same day. So Shadow of Intense, uh, Elegy. Um, of that, I think my favorite track was of Fury. Um, Fit for an Autopsy also put out a, a new album called um, Of What the Future Holds. This one... Um, this one I actually really, really liked, and it was surprising because of the first couple of tracks. Yes, they were a little bit different, but I felt like a lot of people, they kind of hated on the first couple of tracks. Uh, didn't really give the credit that it was due, I think, anyways. I don't know. So maybe you guys didn't like it, but I thought it was an excellent album. Um, favorite uh, favorite song off of that, though, was Higher Level of Hate. Um, then the third was Under Oath's new album, Voyeurist. Um, that one for me is probably my favorite album this year, um, and I would be shocked if it's not at least on the top 10 of album of the year for me. Um, for me, I feel like they did a really good job of going back to their old roots, sort of the sound that a lot of us came up with them with, right? The um, If that makes sense. But... Uh, but sort of the uh, the define the great line um, and they're only chasing safety. It had a lot of that sound in it with sort of a newer evolved um, metalcore type feel to it as well. Um, I know some people uh, hated on the feature of Ghost Main. I felt like that just sort of fit in line though. It didn't feel like a Ghost Main song. It just felt like it had Ghost Main vocals on it, which I thought was really cool. Um, so if you're like me who grew up with Under Oath um, and you wanted that traditional sound, um, and especially if you're someone who grew up in like the evangelical Christian church and has since then kind of gone away from some of those teachings, I think this album you have to check out because um, not only is it an incredible sound, but they have a whole lot to say on it, too. Um, the next one, though, is Bad Omens. So this wasn't an album, just a single, uh, Like a Villain. I don't know why I've been sleeping on Bad Omens for so long, but I really feel like this band is going to be sort of in my heavy rotation for a while. Um, so Like a Villain was a really good one um, this last year. Really, they put out a, a bunch of uh, singles this last year that were really good. Now, the other one that I really liked was their song Death of Peace of Mind. The last, um, the last like main band, though, or, or rather mainstream band, I guess you would call it, that I wanted to touch on uh, is Falling in Reverse. Um, they put out Zombified. Of course, that hit like number one on Billboard and everything. This was a little bit more of a like an anthem rock style sound than what I usually dig as as something that I'll have on repeat. But I really liked it. I thought that the song was really good. I thought um, Ronnie was really creative with the lyrics as well. Um, I really like the the newer stuff that Ronnie's putting out um, going away from. I mean, obviously, it's been years and years and years, but going away from the Escape the Fate sound, um, but going in this new direction, I feel like every time he puts something out, it, uh, it kind of just evolves a little bit more. I guess he's working on an EP right now, um, and so I'm stoked to see that. Uh, the lyrics in general, right, were just um, were kind of hard-hitting, right? I feel like it's something that a lot of people need to hear right now, which is, you know, don't be a zombie, right? Don't, don't just... Uh, follow along with what everybody says just because they're saying it like look into it research it like find out like what does this actually make sense or it, are, are people just following the herd right are they just being sheep are they just being zombies that sort of a thing and i think that that's really important um i do think that over the last couple of days with the, some of the tiktoks that he's put out and some of the tweets um that that a little bit hypocritical of what he's actually saying right now and me and alice will talk about that on another episode coming up just sort of our thoughts on um some of those things so be looking forward to that 
Uh, but I did want to get into two other bands um, as well, and it's bands that we've highlighted in the past um, that are on the smaller side of things. So Autumn Lies Buried is coming out with a new EP. Um, they're definitely one of my favorite bands that we discovered um, in that like first year of doing YouTube um, and doing this reaction channel and pod podcast. But they just put out a new track called Inhuman Skin. Um, this track's brutal, man. This uh, It's really, really good. Um, and Kalen, their vocalist, he has a whole lot to say. Um, and he says it really fast. Definitely takes a few uh, few listens to to catch everything, um, but also it's just really dang good. So you're gonna want to listen to it a handful of times, anyways. Um, go check them out for sure. Um, and then the other band is Bury Your Burdens. We actually highlighted them. Um, well, kind of. Um, they were formerly a different band. They've reformed into a new band, um, and I really like their sound. Um, and I know that we didn't have a chance to react to them or anything like that, but I want you guys to give them a a, a look right? Um, check them out. See if you like their new stuff or not. Um, I really like their sound. I think that those two bands are, are definitely bands that you're going to want to be looking at their future projects and what they're working on in, uh, in this next year. So anyways, um, that's really all it is from me. I know this one's a shorter video and, and some of you guys are probably pretty thankful for that. But either way, I want to know what did, what were you guys listening to this last month? Um, what do you think of the stuff that I was listening to um, do you share the same opinions? Were they great stuff? Do you think my opinion of music is trash? I want to hear both. I want, I want to know, uh, the good and the bad, the ugly, and I want to know what you think I should be listening to as well. I'll do my best to, uh, look it up. If you put it in the comment section below, I will look it up. Um, and I'll, I'll give you a quick comment. What I think about the, the songs that you guys were listening to. So anyways, that'll do it for me and I will catch you the next.